You stated before you went vegan for six months. I did. Why and why are you no longer vegan? I went vegan. Uh, I saw What the Health. And it's funny because I felt like I need to watch it again. <laughs> I came to Atlanta and the soul food, all that stuff is just so tempting. But anyway, let's get back into it. Um, I went, I, I saw What the Health and well, prior to seeing What the Health, I, I was in LA. And in the mix of finding myself, I was just explaining to you guys, I just became so into myself that the gym every day, sometimes twice a day, just became this happy place for me. Still is. It's my, it really is my happy place. So just being in the gym and getting so more into my health and how to build muscle and, you know, protein, you know, all the logistics of actually taking care of your body started to come into play and then uh, what the health hit and people were talking about it and I, and I popped it in and watched it. And, um, and, and in L.A., it's easy to kind of make that transition. Um, so doing the six months was, was easy. Um, but then, you know, I'm a Latin woman, so I started losing mass in places that I was just kind of like, eh, maybe I need to eat a little chicken. Um, but even still, I'm kind of very health conscious in the sense of like, I won't just eat any kind of meat. It does have to be organic and I don't eat any pork. I don't eat any beef. Um, and I, I'm, tr I'm trying to cut out, um, dairy completely, but I do like, like I love milk <laughs> and I love cheese. So I'm trying with that, but it was, it was a really happy six months because the energy you get from eating, you know, what you're really supposed to be eating is, and, and the results in my physique, you know. I even posted a picture on my Instagram where I said I went sit vegan for six months and you could see in that picture my calf muscles, my thigh muscles, like everything was just so lean and, and it was probably one of my most liked photos, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so. But you missed the thickness. You know what it was? Like, I started losing titty mass, <laughs> and my butt wasn't as juicy as before. But it was also, the fat was turning into muscle, you know? You said lean, yeah. Yeah, so that's really what it was. <laughs> so, and it freaked me out a little. <laughs> so when you see this documentary, which is on Netflix. Yes, it's a Netflix uh, documentary. I rise everywhere to watch it. Did you just flip the switch and just say, okay, I'm vegan, I'm cutting all this stuff out of my Yeah, mind. the next day. Cause so I'll be there, I? Just the next day, we pretty much, yeah. Because yeah. with, with, with uh, veganism, some people can do the, the flip of a switch, cold yeah. turkey, right into yeah. the, I and think, some I think it's a yeah, slow it, progression. Right, there's, there's people that are slow and there's some people right away. When you watch something so formative at Sorry, when you watch something so informative as what the health, like I think that's just kind of like your cold turkey. Like you, everyone needs that because I would have never been able to do that had I not seen and, and kept replaying all the information that I really didn't know that, you know, there's a lot of stuff we put into our bodies that it really isn't supposed to be in our bodies. And you don't get that information growing up where we come from. You know, we don't. We're raised eating pork and fried food every day. I, I grew up eating rice and potatoes. <laughs> we had two sets of starch. I mean, <laughs> lots of carbs, lots of beans. <laughs> so, but yeah. And if you think about it, that's why a lot of us um, in our communities are overweight and so unhealthy. And that's why there's so many cancer diseases and, and stuff that we don't, we don't know the answers to. You know, in our elderly and in our children and us. Now, I, I do, you relapsed at some point. Yeah. Um, but before I talk about the relapse part, you did flip the switch. Was it hard for you to adjust with the flip switch or the switch flip or however? What do you mean, it? like to completely become vegan? Yes, like, okay. No, I just kind of like, I, I. Because you lasted for six months, but yeah. some people quit after a day. Yeah, well, week, you know what it month. is? Uh, I, I, I love to cook. So I think what helped, you know, make the whole transition fun for me is it was like, now I'm going to learn how to make all these vegan dishes, you know? So I just made it, I made it fun. And I think that's why I was able to last that long. I really wish I would have went longer, but like I, I, 
started moving around and hitting the road and that's what made my relapse happen you know but if you're able to kind of meal prep stuff like that definitely helps you stay away from you know all the bad stuff I hear uh, being on the road and that sort of thing can be challenging yeah for like I, I'm back on the road again you know and, and um, late night studio hours and you know things of that nature you know um, it could be hard especially when you don't have the fun like let's say like I could probably easily hire someone to come bring me my meals and stuff but like let's say you know the average person it's kind of it kind of sucks but that's why a lot of us are unhealthy we don't have access to all the healthy stuff so that stuff you know me being on the road like me even having a meal prep person I still lost track and I did but it was just at one point and then when you come home to visit <laughs> Mama doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> was there any vegan support system for you, or was it you just staying disciplined for these six my, months? My my son, my son is vegetarian. So when I told him I was be, he was very you know supportive. And I actually did um, the rest of it with my best friend Albie. So me and him being together, you know, keeping each other excited about it, I think definitely helps. Is he still vegan? No. <laughs> we call ourselves flexitarians now because we'll still eat vegan. And then there's days where we'll, we'll like tonight. Are you still making that? He's going to be making vegan lasagna. Ah. So it's still, it's still in you somewhat. Oh, it is. I think once you start, see, especially for us, like me growing up, I didn't like vegetables and none of that shit. So I think once I got older, I think all of us, when we get older, our taste buds change, obviously. But once you kind of get the hang of things and understanding, like, you know, like you can have vegan tacos, you can have vegan nachos, you can have vegan pizza. We pretty much have vegan everything. You can have that. You know what's cool? There's, like, little shops, like in Brooklyn, this 21-year-old girl just opened up a vegan restaurant. Like, people are starting to slowly tap more into it. And I think once everyone starts getting more informative, that whole thing will grow and we'll have more of an option when we're out and about as far as to eat cleaner, you know. But as of right now, you know, the government just wants to kill us all. So they just give us whatever the fuck with lots of um, steroids and extra stuff in our meat. Do you think that um, if you would have done the progression instead of the flip switch right into it, do you think that would have helped? I have to say, if you're going to do it, just do it. You know, like, why prolong it? You know, like, I, I think it just, you're just wasting time. If you're going to do it, just do it. But give, your some, give yourself something that's going to really drive you to do it. Like watching What the Health. That is, like, plays a big part. Because you, you're, you're replaying. Like, there's shit in there right now that I'm thinking about. <laughs> like, did you know that... They're the mucus from the cow's nose is what's in our sour cream. What the hell? Do you still want sour cream on your taco? Yeah. So stuff like that. You'll go for the sour cream and then you'll think about that. So that's what you need. <laughs> you think you'll ever go back to being a true vegan mm -hmm. again? Yeah, when I get pregnant. Mm hmm 